Hey everyone. So today I'm opening the second box of uh, the 2022 Flare Ultra Avengers. Now I know the first video is a little long, so I'll try to keep this short, sh or relatively short. Um, so I was looking at the pack odds, so... Oh, the puzzle piece is actually one in 24 packs, or one in two boxes. Uh, the sketch card, technically, I was really pretty lucky to get an animation cell and a sketch card in the same box because all those type of inserts are supposed to be one per box so realistically I should only got one or the other uh, but to get both that's pretty good I'm not complaining uh, and the blue parallel number 360 I don't think they had like actual stated odds for those unfortunately and same with the chest pieces now I know their autograph versions are numbered 25 uh, those are obviously hard to pull Get going. Okay, this time I'm just gonna place the box away. So let's get started. The first box is pretty exciting. Uh, getting to see the artwork and the different type of inserts. Uh, we do not get any numbered parallel for a medallion, so maybe in this box we may get that. Uh, looks like we're already starting off with a chess piece. Uh, so the first card is Winter Soldier base. Squirrel Girl, Squirrel Girl, Silver Age Thor, that's cool. Ooh, and a Modoc Villain Knight. So we've got the Hero Knight, uh, Hulk. Uh, oh, I think, uh, let's see. Yeah, so I think uh, if it is numbered, uh, it, the only numbered is the numbered auto and it has a numbering on the front. So that's cool. We got a Villain Knight Modoc. We have a Green Parallel. Uh, Olivier Copel, Artist Spotlight, and a base US agent. So that's kind of cool. We already kind of got a hit in the first pack. Oh, I think I see. Nope. Oh, no. I thought I saw something. Nope. Just my eyes deceiving me. Sorry. Okay, so second pack. We're starting with. Daredevil, Sunspot, oh, Alex Ross Artist Spotlight, Base, oh, speaking of Hulk, Green Parallel Hulk, which is very fitting, oh, we have our first uh, Medallion Parallel, or this may be the Amethyst, I'm not sure, I couldn't really tell, but it should see on the back. So let's take a look. Oh, it is a ruby medallion numbered to 65. So that's really cool. Got a low numbered medallion parallel. Now I know uh, the golds, even though the gold is numbered, I think, higher. I think it's out of number to 100 or 200. But those probably might be more sought after only because it's gold. The gold is really nice. I've seen some people pull them. But this is still really cool. So we got a uh, ruby Dormammu medallion, really fitting for his character as well, and a Jessica Jones base. So that's cool. So I guess, uh, ask and you shall receive type of thing just happened. Alright, let's keep going. We already got a number card and a chase. Uh, so this one we're starting off with a stature. Vision. Our Earth's Mightiest spin-off of the A-Force, green parallel of star brand, oh, and another blue foil parallel, this time of Rogue, so this is of course number to 360, so 315 of 360. Now I know some people like, I think what they call the Alpha, which is the uh, the first production run of the card, so like number one of whatever the it is out of. Uh, and then we have, oh, it's Helmet Zemo. Oh, interesting, I just noticed that. Okay. okay next pack. Start off with a Crossbones. Swordsman. A artist spotlight for Alex Maleev. 
explain that we have a green parallel of Amadeus Cho. Hey, and we have a base medallion of Lockjaw. Behind that, we have Loki. Honestly, I'm pretty happy with this product. The inserts, parallels, chase cards. This one didn't open very nicely. Okay. Have Cape Bishop. Rogue Base. Oh, Silver Age Spider Man. That's really cool. Green Parallel Silver Age Thor. And we have a Base Medallion Black Widow. And Beyonder. Okay, so it looks like the uh, hits are the parallels of, well, yeah, the parallels are the fourth slot, and the fifth slot is the, is the hit of the pack. Okay. Okay. Starting with Iron Lad. Moon Knight. I hope you guys can actually see these cards clearly. Uh, we have another spin-off of the New Avengers. I actually really like this uh, comic cover. And then we have, ooh, Taskmaster, Green Parallel. Behind that is our hit. And it is a base medallion Stingray. And Tigra. Yeah, I would say this is pretty much on par with the 2017 Clear Ultra Spider-Man. So we have Thanos, Ant-Man, uh, Base Iron Patriot, Dark Avengers, Green Parallel of the New Avengers. Oh, and we have a red. Greatest Battles uh, of Scarlet Witch and Avengers. I think, I'm not sure which one, what this is number two. Let's take a look. Okay, this is number one, two, 141. That's cool. So that's our second number card. I, th I think it's two number cards per, per box. But we'll see. Oh, I feel like there's something in here. I could be wrong. Wait, <gasps> looks like there's something sleeved. Okay, this is the first time I've ever... Uh, I think the last time this happened, there was a sleeve card was 2017 Spider-Man. I think the buybacks were pre-sleeved. I think. Okay, let's see what it is. So we have Ultron. Silver Age Ant-Man. Green Patriot. And... No, no way. That, no. Is it? It is a signed autograph animation cell. One of thir uh, seven of 13. No way. Okay, that is really cool. And it also includes an authentication certificate. That is awesome. Okay. Just when I thought I couldn't get anything cooler out of these boxes. That's really awesome. So in the back, I don't know if it's legible because I don't... Uh, yeah, I don't... I think that's... They probably put that in the back. So, yeah, I've received a traditional... Something. It's like really hard to see. <laughs> Includes the autograph of... Is it a separate card? Oh, I think it's separate. Oh, I don't want to take it out. Okay. I'll look at it later, but that's really cool. Um, okay, you know what? Maybe. Be really careful. Yeah. So, this is autograph of EM Gist? Gist? So, I will just be very careful. So, just that way I can show the actual animation cell. 
with the autograph. Oh, I really didn't expect such a low numbered card to come out of this box. That was really cool. It includes a certificate of authentic authenticity, so it's really cool. Okay. That is really awesome. Oh, I don't. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna put it back here. And then we have the Modoc Medallion and Maria Hill base. Okay. That's yeah, this this has been a really good, really great box. Three number cards. And that should be our box hit, I think. I mean, unless... Oh. Unless there is something else. Spider Woman. Dormammu. Uh, Heroes Reborn. Spinoff. Green Parallel Falcon. And... Oh, another animation cell. This time of Squirrel Girl. Okay. Okay. I... It's... It's, it's that kind of box, I guess. <laughs> and we have a red skull. Oh, if I can manage to find more of these, I think I definitely will get more. As the pulls have been um, better than what I could possibly imagine. Uh, so, Cannonball. Thor. Uh, Artist Spotlight, George Perez. Base. Oh, and a green Alex Ross parallel. And a uh, medallion base of Black Panther. And uh, Iron Fist base to end that pack. So let's see, we got quite a few, well, one, two, three, four, five, six hits out of this box. Seven now, it looks like. Uh, I do see a chess piece. Because it's quite obvious. So we start with She-Hulk, Gamora, uh, Greatest Battles, She-Ar and Kree Empire's Avengers base. Oh, okay, sorry. Uh, green Parallel uh, Black Bolt. Behind that is a Pawn Quicksilver. And Valkyrie base. Okay, and the last pack of the box. Okay, we start on with Spectrum, Black, uh, White Tiger, Silver Age, Black Widow, Green Parallel Drax. And a medallion base of Rick Jones. And Smasher. So we actually got quite a few hits. So in terms of our numbered cards, we had a blue parallel rogue, number to 360, and a red parallel greatest battles, number to 141. Uh, we had our uh, Ruby Dormammu, number to, I believe, 65. And our other numbered hit, which is our biggest one, is the autograph of uh, Animation Cell for Cannonball by E.M. Gist, or Gist. And then we also had our other Animation Cell of Squirrel Girl. And lastly, our two chess pieces of Villain Knight Modoc and Hero Pond Quicksilver. I hope you guys enjoyed that box as much as I did. And uh, yeah, look forward to you opening some blasters whenever I receive those. Hopefully, maybe in the next week or so, depending when uh, the Upper Deck store ships those to me. But yeah, so far I'm really enjoying this product and I hope the, this kind of luck continues. And I'll see you guys in the next video.